to touch homosexuals. It's a subject of considerable criticism and humor. They feel less freaky in cities and also physically safer. Potential assaulters, especially of children and young boys. The right to protect their children. That's the thing that really gets me, really gets me about the LGBT movement. It's all defending. Literally everything that I've ever seen is about defending and protecting and securing the rights and safety and lives of LGBT people. It's always on the foot back. They're always trying to move forward by supporting themselves instead of moving forward by deconstructing what is there that is oppressing them. Oh, it's born. I'm on the board. The born board. At least 300 people have been arrested by the police in the New York area during the last three weeks. What does transgender mean to you? Transgender is when a person is... That's, that's basically... Transgender means... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gay. That's what parents were expecting. And then just going, yeah, so no, I, I'm not anything that you presume. <laughs> and you've got trans women, you've got trans men, you've got genderqueer people, you've got agender people, and you've got non-binary people, and you've got you know, people who are trans feminine or trans masculine, regardless of which way they're going. You can be like cisgender and be comfortable with the body or any of the roles, or genderqueer, and not identify as either of being in the middle of these binaries. You can be male to female, or female to male and trans. So much of mine. Transgender! I'm transgender! Oh well! <laughs> when you're born, you know, a doctor will be like, oh, that's a boy or that's a girl. And then once you grow up, you're expected to be either a man or a woman. People who feel like their body is betraying them as it goes through puberty and as it develops. So transgender really just means that you are breaking away from the gender that was assigned to you at birth and forging your own new one. There are some people out there who think that being transgender means going from male to female. But it comes down to owning your own labels and choosing your own labels and then being able to like express those labels to other people. Labels should never be like the definitive like be or end all of you. They just represent a part of you, or a part of your history, or a part of your culture. People you find it weird, and you know what? You just express yourself and be whoever you want to be, because at the end of the day, it's your life. But right? you rule this life, nobody can tell you what to do. Trans, to me, I guess, means expression right now. But before I came out, I would, like, subconsciously stay away from people I didn't think would be accepting. I only held on to friends that I will be accepting and I definitely have the way that things knowing young people are more accepting and variety for sure just to like our culture is changing. I never really had an overtly feminine childhood or an overtly masculine childhood. I just like I entered a really depressive state for a few years. I mean I didn't even explore stuff. I had no first puberty, it just didn't happen. Physically, biologically, mentally, through development stuff, sure, but they never were applied to anything, and as such they had no value. I just... I wasn't a person. I was so held back that it took me an extra three years of puberty, and I'm already 21 at the time, to go through puberty socially. And when I was pushed into things like how to act, it just felt really wrong and felt like I should be on the other side against 
it's like this is something that I've done to be happy about myself and to feel more comfortable about myself and to be more honest about who I am and you know it's kind of a weird vulnerability to open up to someone about it and be like yeah no, I am trans and this is a really hard part of my life. There's a lot of violence with trans people as well from people who don't understand what they think or just like have never been exposed to it. It's not really an option not transitioning when the other option is just like horror depression and in the wrong body. It's not easy to be trans and it's not easy to live in the closet. So when you actually are coming out to people and being yourself like and getting shat on for it, it's devastating. They teach you maths, English, science, sports, everything and when you go to college or uni, but they never teach you about life skills, like what if you go on the streets, what if you don't do the things that are required in your life to succeed. Just in the end, man, like, no one likes to get ganged up on, no one likes to get bashed for who they are and what they're trying to do. Usually when it comes to bullying, for those who bully other people, it's when that they're obviously getting bullied themselves. Yeah. Bully themselves they're, not happy them. themselves. They're, they're not happy with themselves. They're not happy with themselves. They're not happy with themselves. No point. I mean, how, like, do you gain strength when you, you know, put someone down? Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you feel... You know, it's uh, I'm definitely okay. better than that. Actually, if you're not capable of expressing yourself, you won't express yourself at all. Um, and if you don't express yourself at all, you don't develop and learn and change. And if you don't develop and learn and change, you're not a person. My name is Bailey Lyons. I am the drummer from the band Lionizer and I do other things as well. <laughs> I'm a 28 year old transsexual woman. I recently had sex reassignment surgery and that's kind of been my life for the last four months. I guess, yeah, in a way I have transgressed from this idea that because I was born male and I was expected to be a man who was masculine and now I've kind of eschewed that and have become female who is expected to be a woman but acts both masculine and feminine as much as I feel like on any given day. I am a androgen non-binary a romantic. I deal with multiple mental issues, um, post traumatic stress disorder, and some sort of generalized anxiety or thing. I've been dealing with depression for years and years and years. And what was the other thing? Oh, physically disabled. My body image issues stem from years and years of passive aggressive microaggressions from people because I'm a six foot one feminine androgynous person and that is a figure that is like my name is Willow I changed it just recently from William um, I identify as trans sort of androgynous at the moment I guess but um, transitioning and taking hormones estrogen and testosterone blockers and sort of breaking out of society's gender my name is Ed Sun, I'm a young artist, I'm 24 years old, and um, I'm transgender, female male. That's a pretty odd to some people out there, but to me, it's just, it's life. I'm actually on testosterone, it's been on for three months. I've been on the streets for seven years, in and out. When I was on the street, I could kids. I went everywhere that I could possibly, just to get that help. And there is so much help out there, there it definitely is. You just gotta push yourself to know that you want it. And then what happens is I started putting down the music. I want you kids to know out there on the streets, be anything that you want. No matter what people try to say about you, this is your life. I sort of see it as gender identity, gender expectations and gender presentations. Um, so for me, like gender identity is who you are as a person, like how you see yourself, the principles and the core of you as a person. And I feel like that can just be as wide and as varied as you want it to be. Like, I don't really believe it's as binary as man or woman or boy or girl. I think it's, you know, all these shades of grey in between. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, gender expectations, which is 
kind of the way society or your parents or your school or your workplace expects you to look or to behave um, depending on what gender they have assigned to you or what gender they expect you to be. So, you know, the idea that girls wear makeup and dresses and, and boys will be boys and will be rough and tumbling and argumentative in the classroom or something, like those sorts of things. Um, and then gender presentation is sort of how you navigate between your gender identity and gender expectations. So it's how you choose to represent your identity in a world that expects you to engage in certain activities regardless of your gender. You get all sorts of different reactions. You get the people who are like, oh wow, that's really cool and I'm really impressed by that or I think you're really brave. Those sort of more positive reactions, I guess. And you get the ones that are kind of patronising, where people are like, oh, I could never do something as brave as what you're doing. Or you're going to make the most beautiful girl. And you're kind of just like, uh, like people who are trying to be nice, but just kind of missing the point. So there's pressure to like, change my voice, which is like really hard. I've tried and just given up pretty much and just become okay with it. Just remember, everything happens for a reason, season and lifetime. You know, and especially when it comes to loved ones and the ones that have passed away and died and there's things going on in your life, there is help. And I promise you, there is help up there. I mean, I've been there. I've been on the streets. I know what it's like. But I feel like in a perfect world, that would just be considered normal. The same way that some people decide to go to university or some people decide to go and work in the minefields or some people decide to be travel riders. Like, it would just be like, oh, yeah, actually, this is what's going to make me happy and I'm going to try it. And he was like, that's awesome. Like, good luck to it. And I think in a perfect world as well, we wouldn't stigmatise trans people's bodies about whether or not they're beautiful or whether or not they're passing. And I feel like in that sort of vein, we would be more allowing for different shades of gender and different shades of gender expression. And so we wouldn't have so many gendered expectations that we place on people. Society has a problem with uh, anything that isn't straight down the middle, the norm, as they say the norm, yeah. which the norm is, what is the norm? You are who you are. They want to express themselves as part of that. It's not like a big thing that no one's like, oh, the first last year is If they want to do it, they do it. Have a great time and you know realize that there's more to than just being depressed in a small box within yourself. Yeah. Both things can look rough sometimes, but uh, you know you can believe that at the end of it, something good can come around. What they feel is right for them is right for them. I believe every person has the right to be who they are, who they want to be, who they feel they should be. Anything other than that. In a perfect world, people would have morals and no one stepping on other people's toes to get ahead of anybody else. And quality in general are more for. But and, um, there's no specific part. You're on equal and everything, but you're not equal from stuff. The Australian government can do some things to make it easier for trans people, trans shops. Hormones and stuff are pretty expensive. In a perfect world, people wouldn't need to be protected. Everybody around the world. You're gonna dance on the street, just do it. Live one life, you might as well party and do it. Forget your negativity in your life. Get rid of them, get rid of everything that is holding you to doing what you want to do. I stand for people who are different, who want to be who they are for equality in all forms of life. Whether you're Regardless what age you are, anything is possible. There's a lot of people that feel the way that we are feeling, you know, and you can't seem to grasp that or understand that. That's okay, just don't judge, you know. Let us be who we want to be. Do you understand? <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.